Melissa. We are going to get the X Tool apparel printer set up today. Now, I'm not going to do a traditional start to finish setup. The reason being is there are going to be struggles along the way. I'm just going to be completely honest with you. There's certain areas that tend to uh, create a little bit of a bottleneck that you are going to want to have more information on how to troubleshoot. So those areas are have to do with loading the film, loading the ink, getting the ink to extract. You might not have those problems. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the film set up. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the ink set up. And in each of those videos, I am going to show you how to troubleshoot the common issues that you may uh, come across, which I came across both of them. And so I want to show you those. So when you put both of the videos together, then you basically have the complete setup. Now, I will tell you that as far as an unboxing, I'm not going to do an unboxing for this video. The reason is it came on a pallet. It, I am on a second floor of an office building. It was a lot of a mess and we ended up having to take it out of the packaging, out of the pallet in the middle of the hallway. There was no time or ability to record that. So I will say it was packaged nicely, lots of styrofoam, just as um, X tool always does very efficient. A lot of the stuff was actually packaged inside of here. There was several other boxes, um, but it can, and this comes on wheels so that you can basically, it seems easier than it is to kind of roll it out of the pallet. But I will tell you, I'm not going to have a traditional unboxing on this, but let's get started with set up. And the first thing that we're going to do with setup is, um, has to do with moving the print head, getting some of that packaging off, and then we're going to go right into loading the film. Okay, so we are going to start on the front of the machine by simply opening the front panel and we are going to, with our hand, move the large print head towards the center. There's going to be multiple pieces of styrofoam that you need to take off from around and basically below the print head. And then there's this piece of plastic that is wrapped completely around. Now, when you pull it off, you should have this second piece of uh, plastic on there. And if you don't, you need to make sure that you remove that. So what you can do is open up the um, side panel of the machine. Just take, put, pull the print head all the way back to the left and take a peek and make sure nothing is underneath uh, the print head there. Now what you're going to do is move the print head towards the middle. We are now going to prepare to load the material. So take that, uh, the cover off and then push the print head all the way to the right. You need to make sure that you clear the roller bars because we need to flip the uh, switch that is going to pull the roller bar up and we can't move those roller bars or the pinch rollers until that switch is in the up position, which can't happen until the print head is all the way to the right. So go ahead and do that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to grab the bag of small screws. There's four or five screws in there and then you've got a um, uh, screwdriver that has two different sides. You want to make sure that the smaller of the two sides is what you can actually use. So put the uh, handle on the other side. Grab the two brackets. There's a left and a right. And what we're going to do is these actually go on the back of the machine and they are going to hold the material roll. So we need to smooth, rotate the whole machine around completely 180 degrees so that we have access to the back of the machine. What you're gonna see here is that you've got four screw holes. So the left bracket is going to go on the left side as you're facing the back. The right is going to go on the right. You're gonna take those four screws, one for each of the holes, and the long screwdriver has to go through the hole that's closest to you and will screw all the way through. So repeat that four times until you've got the brackets on there. Now, what you're gonna do now is on the left bracket, you have a little white tab. You're gonna pull that up. That is actually what is going to keep the, the uh, roll of material secured. You're going to take the roll of material and make sure that the, uh, take all of the plastic off around it. Make sure that there's nothing left, um, especially around like where the core is, because there's a lot of plastic and it can be challenging to get that to come off. So you want to make sure that you have the roll positioned so that the a uh, yellow arrow is facing up or basically back towards the machine, right? That's how you wanna position it. So the material should be coming up and over the roll. Then what you're gonna do is feed it into the slot. Now, 
You want to make sure, go back to the front of the machine, and you need to make sure that the material is feeding through. Now, how it's positioned is really, really important, okay? So you, what you want to make sure of is that the right side of the material, as it's feeding through, is directly um, aligned with this very, very small white line, okay? And then you're going to take the two um, uh, roller guides or material guides. One says R, as you can see, the other says L. You want to make sure that basically they are splitting the holes in the side of the material. Okay, so half should be covering the holes, half should not. And then the little hole that's in that black bracket should actually be seeing basically the edge of the material. And that's how you're going to know that it is lined up correctly. Now, in the next video, I'm going to show you exactly how to load the ink. So the material is very important, so I wanted to have a designated video for that. Now we will move forward and load the ink. So I will uh, put a link to that video in the description below. Okay, so if all goes well, the film is now loaded, but you're not going to know if it was done correctly until you go through the rest of the process, which is once you put the ink in, then you are going to, to do a basically um, an on screen setup and that is going to do like a self check that is when if you come across an issue with the film it is going to become obvious and i did so what i found is the biggest reason that my film kept on jamming um, or getting all scrunched up is not because of the way that i had it loaded into the printer it was because of the way that the printer and the heater or the shaker itself were connected so there's not really like a way to like oh this is exactly how they're supposed to be connected i will say there should not be any bit of a gap between the printer itself and um, the heater. So basically, if there's any kind of gap, what ends up happening is the film ends up kind of going into one side before it goes into the, to the other, and that causes the jam. So once I got that lined up correctly, then the self-check was perfect. The other issue that you may run into when you are loading the film, and this is whether you are attached to the heater and shaker or whether you have this on a desktop, there are actually white lines, small white lines, all the way along the right side of the printer, and that is where the film needs to align the right margin of the film needs to align with those they're there you might not even notice them but that is super important because if they are aligned at the right and then they are aligned all the way down uh, from the top all the way down through where the film exits then it means that the film is exactly straight so make sure that you do that now if you've gotten all this way and now you hopefully have your film completely loaded and you are ready to move on to loading the ink as I mentioned couple minutes ago I will put the link in the description below there are some things that may come up with the ink as well I will say I love the ink bottle design the loading is very easy there if you're having trouble with extracting the ink into the dampers near the printhead which I did I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot that as well